everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude here with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at what is inside these captive eggs. Um, this time I've bought in six of them, so hopefully I get some new dinosaurs. Um, I think this added up to be like $50, but these figures are definitely worth it. They've got a lot of detail and they're really fun to play with, fun to take photography of, and to miss and mix and match as they're um, all relatively like the same size ball joints for the heads and stuff. So yeah, um, I'll be looking at two captive eggs per video, so look out for my other two videos um, on these guys. So first we'll start with these ones. These are all the ones I've found prior. Um, or already, so now let's get our fingers crossed for hopefully maybe a Baryonyx or a Brachiosaurus. So with these eggs, like always, you gotta peel the back. Get through that layer of plastic. Oh, okay. And then there is a secondary layer of plastic to keep that uh, goo inside. So you just find this, and then you pull it. Or not, okay. Let's try that again. Um, kind of clinging. There we go. Get this textured egg. Now, uh, the goo kind of leaves the residue, so make sure maybe keep a plate handy and to wash your hands after it. There it is, the little baggie inside, and this nice, kind of like lava goo. Okay, so now there's a tear thing, but it's like super slippery, so we're gonna just use scissors and um, try not to cut the contents inside, because there is a little, a little thing in there. So let's see what we got. Oh, <gasps> Brachio! Yes! It's one that I do not have yet. I should have brought paper towel. This was, uh, one sec. I guess I'll just... Okay. So we got a Brachiosaurus. And you just pop the head on and the tail. This is a really nice color. They did a gray sort of vibe with it. It's like looking down. There's a little Mark Jurassic World on there. And it's got all these little wrinkles and grooves. The legs are a really nice size. And it's not that often we get Brachiosaurus in figures like this. So that's super cool. And it stands well. Okay, so what other ones are on here? So where's the Brachio? There we go. So there's the rest. Let's see if we can get a Baryonyx for the next one. Here's the little code. Rival? A Pteranodon. Weird. Not sure whether Rival would be a Pteranodon, maybe because uh, it's got like a long neck, so it's like closer to them. It's so big though. Um, but that's cute. They have like a little gimmick or whatever. So let's get that. So, oh, and there we go. We got the package, and of course it's very slippery. There's the goo. So let's see what we can get inside of this one. Um, again, I should have brought a paper towel. I'll have to remember that for the next one. Be careful not to cut anything. And oh, it's the Mosasaurus. Nice. Another one I don't have, so good, good. We're on a roll. Let's keep this up. And it's an interesting color. Um, it's kind of like a a light blue with this darker wash. See? It's kind of like um a teal. Turquoise-ish color. Let's snap the tail. It's very long. And then the head. It's kind of in a dramatic position, like it's swimming to catch something. Like that. 
That is super cool. They've got the eye painted, the inside of the mouth painted, even I'm assuming those blotches are the second set of teeth maybe painted. Um, they got a little tongue in there too. This is phenomenal. This is this is a really amazing figure. They've got loads of detail in that. And I'm loving the position. That's so cool. So we got two of the largest dinosaurs in Jurassic World. The Brachiosaurus and the Mosasaurus. Let's look at the little code. Undefeated at sea. Interesting. That is super neat. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I certainly did. And um, make sure to watch my other two that will be published after this. Uh, again, hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.